Today we're going to be going over how to add an HMI in your TI portal project. So here we're using version 15.1 of TI portal. You can see I already have a PLC added to my project. So now we're going to go and add an HMI. So we'll hit our drop downs and select the one that we actually have. So we'll do this one and insert it into our project. All right, once you've actually got the HMI dragged in and added to your project, you're going to get this wizard screen that will pop up. It'll kind of walk you through configuring that HMI. It's going to, first screen is going to ask you what PLC connection you have it to. So we're going to hit browse and there's the PLC that we have right there, 1211C. So we'll hit the checkbox on that. That is now link that PLC and that HMI together. On the next screen, it's going to allow you to pick some of the different screen layouts and whether you want your date, time, logo, and headers. You can also browse to add more in there. Here's your alarm screen. So you can select to get different system and pending alarms or unacknowledged alarms that might be happening on your system, whether you have your PLC, your drive, or other options or other devices saved on that. Here you can select your active system alarms, pending alarms, or unacknowledged alarms. So if you have other devices in that PLC system, you can get notifications on your HMI of any issues you might be having. The next screen, you can kind of add in new screens. So the standard is your root screen, but you can also add other screens in here if you know you want multiple screens, you can select as many as you like, rename them, move them around, and delete screens. So when I go in here, we'll name this screen one for our demo purposes. When we go in here into our system screens. That's just going to allow you to say this is going to be the main screen. So when you go in here to the system screens, you can kind of see that these are some of the different screens that might have as far as diagnostics or user admin, project information, system information, or being able to switch between different languages and operating modes. These are all default screens that you can add into your project. Finally, the last screen is going to be buttons. So you can add some standard buttons like log on and different language buttons down here at the bottom. You also have your stop run time, you have your alarm window, and you have the home window. When you're done with that, you hit finish and it'll pop up on your screen with your new HMI as well as the name that you gave. Once you get your HMI on the screen, you'll now see some of the different screens that we selected as far as the different names that you've given them as well as the system screens that you would have selected. We're now on the root screen. So once you get into here, you'll want to go into online and diagnostics. Once in online diagnostics, you can go in and assign a Profinet name as well as an IP address to your HMI. So once we have our HMI added to the PLC project, we can go in here and go down to properties and drag this tag up. And now that'll give you the properties of all the different items on this HMI. To be able to go in and add a new IP address to get this network, we're going to go over here and click on devices and network. Now you'll see here's our new HMI that was automatically connected to our PLC when we did that earlier. To go in and assign the IP address, we want to click on this ethernet port right here. And now in our properties window, we'll be able to scroll up, click on ethernet addresses, and here's the IP address. Now your PLC PLC is going to automatically manage that and set that IP address for you. But if you need to change it, you can go in and type this for you, as well as generate a Profinet device name. Again, your PLC is going to be handling setting that Profinet device name. Once you've got what you want and your screen's done, you can click on your HMI. You can right click, do compile. Once you're done compiling, you'll get a screen that'll come up and tell you whether you have any warnings or errors. So once you finish compiling, you'll see that I have zero errors and six warnings. And it's just given since we haven't done any code or anything in here, I'm just getting some warnings. Once you're done compiling, you can right click again, you can hit download to device. And this is where we'll search for that HMI. So now we know our IP address is 192.168.02. We would select to make sure that we're in the right network adapter. And then we would start our search and download if I had an actual HMI here that I could do that with. Once that's done, you're now connected to your HMI and download it. And that's it for setting up and commissioning your HMI. Thank you.